Hi, my name is April Kirkwood. If we haven't met, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm a therapist, an author, a TEDx speaker, um, been a guidance counselor for years, dean of a guidance department, English teacher, adult basic ed teacher, and <clears throat> also I am the face of COVID. So when I got COVID, I, I got to tell you, I, I really got scared. I thought, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? And I started to think about my life and I thought, well, I'm sitting here. If God would take me, what would I have done with these last two months? So uh, my love for children, my love for writing just kicked into gear and I have created a calendar for 2021 for children and parents and caretakers to do interactively, to encourage uh, children to know more about their mind, their soul, their body, and to self-regulate so that your home runs a little smoother. Um, an example of that would be um, January is intuition. How do you teach a child about their intuition? And I start each month with an affirmation, which is a positive, and affirmations are very, very powerful. They put in your mind um, <clears throat> actually positive energy and raise your vibration. And they say if you do it 30 days, 30, 33 days, that it makes a profound difference in the way you actually are wired mentally. And then underneath the affirmation are four exercises. Um, <clears throat> one of my favorite exercises is the um, starfish. And if I want to teach mindfulness, which is one of the topics, and I want them to calm down and focus, I have them look at their hand like a starfish. A starfish moves very slow. It's very beautiful. It doesn't hurry. It doesn't race against any other people. It just does its own thing and relaxes. And then I have um, my little ones trace their starfish three times. And then after that, I let that starfish go quietly and softly to enjoy its day. Now, the key about this project is I am giving all proceeds, every single penny, I won't see a thing, to a St. Jude's Children's Hospital. You know, they say writers and authors and all of those people are usually get their inspiration from right inside their hearts. And I recently had a granddaughter and I wanted to teach her um, metaphysical beliefs in a fun way. And I also um, wanted to be thankful. Uh, she had one little stint in the hospital, but I wanted to be thankful for her health. And, and it, in order to do that, I wanted to give back. So please, if you have teachers, mothers, someone's having a baby, household of kids, Sunday school classes, early childhood development classes, um, uh, people who are pregnant and about to bring a new soul back into this earth, uh, children need more than ever to know who they are and to work with all the many holistic aspects of themselves. So you will look right below and there will be a place for you to purchase this. You can send it to anybody, it's online. They can download it one month at a time, post it on their refrigerator or playroom station. And the activities are easy. I did not put activities that take a lot of supplies because young mothers don't have time to run out and get supplies. So these are kind of uh, activities that you can do together. Also, the age is probably three to 10 and uh, the big ones can help the little ones. There's group group games, there's games for the table, there's games when you're in the car, and there's games outside and inside 
um, during different months. So thank you very much this holiday season. I have recovered from COVID and I hope that every child at St. Jude's Children's Hospital recovers as well. For truly, every little one deserves a life of health, wealth, and abundance in every way. And let me give you my holiday blessing. Please feel free to follow me. I, I'm at aprilkirkwood.com. I am an, um, a therapist through teledoc.com. I do online therapy, and I do adolescence all the way through us gals. I love you. I praise you. I appreciate you. You are God's child. Great things happen to you. Nothing can stop it. Give to St. Jude's, $9 is all it takes to help a little one and their family recover from those terrible diseases. Nobody should have to go through that. Happy holidays. God bless. I hope you're healthy.